anybody that is a meteorologist has probably had that love their whole life. I think I was always interested, so I'm from Southeast Louisiana, and whenever Hurricane Katrina came through, that moment was just such a, one, a culture shock, and two, a little bit awe-inspiring. And so, from that moment on, I knew for sure, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna figure out how this works, and I'm gonna you know, be a meteorologist. And as far as like my personal life, basketball and meteorology have been like a wonderful complement to each other. got two totally different things that force time management between one and the other and causes like a balance. And I think that's unbelievably important to have in, in your life at any point. I think that's been one of the hardest parts about not playing anymore. And not playing anymore is like finding that some kind of balance in your life. And then I think the unpredictability factor. Sometimes it goes understated, like the weather is so unpredictable. We do a great job of picking it. Um, sports are so unpredictable, but I think that's something that kind of goes in between and part of the fun of both, right? You know, I have an idea of what's going to happen, but I don't know exactly how it's going to happen. So I might have an idea about how a game's going to go, but I don't know exactly how. And some of those like small twists and turns are, are what makes the whole thing interesting. It's just an honor to represent this university that's given so much to me over the years with my education, my friend groups around me, the family that I have with FSU basketball. So being able to give back has been really important to me and, and I think being able to do that through basketball has been super cool.